Now, let's learn how to navigate around your Copper account. When each of you locate the sign-in page of copper.com, you'll see two sign-in options. If your account is synced with Gmail, meaning your business is run on a Gmail email domain or an email domain hosted by Gmail, you can click the Sign In with Google blue box and use Google Single Sign-On to complete the login process. If your account is not synced with Gmail, maybe your business runs on Outlook, for example, you can instead choose to enter your email address and password for Copper and sign in below the blue Gmail sync box. Let's take a look at what you'll see when you sign in. This is Copper. In the upper left corner, I can click these three horizontal lines to expand my menu bar. You'll spend a lot of time moving around the different links here. Down the left-hand side, we have a menu of navigation options. Right now, we'll just point out where everything lives. Throughout the rest of the course, we'll dive deeper into each aspect of this menu. Your dashboard is a place to see your personal to-dos and accomplishments. This is different from the reports section, which shows the whole team's stats around open and closed deals. Right now, I can see my to-do list for the day. This is a list of tasks, which we'll learn how to create later in the course to make your workflow more efficiently managed. I can also see my list of suggested contacts. These are people who've emailed my Copper email address, but who have not yet been added into Copper. If I click Add, the system will create a person record for them, and the emails they send going forward will be stored there. There are other dashboard tabs here, which we'll get more familiar with later in the course. Leads, people, companies, opportunities, projects, and tasks are types of records that give you insight into your contacts, business deals, and processes. We'll become much more familiar with these in the next part, so stay tuned. My Tracked Emails is something our Google Suite users will find useful in seeing when emails you've sent to your contacts are opened or not. I can hover over the color-coded envelopes to gain insight into whether this person has viewed my email multiple times or if they've never even seen it. Reports is where we'll measure your workflow. You'll become very familiar with what's in here later in this course. Settings is where you customize your account. You can do things like manage your team member's visibility permissions or add custom fields to input the specific data you need. And across the top of the page, you have a search bar that lets you search across all your different records. As we can see in the results of this search, any leads, people, companies, etc., that are associated with this person will show. If I just want to search people, I can narrow down my search by clicking people here on the left and running the search from the People page specifically. Here in the upper right corner, I have a question mark. The first link under it is Support. Clicking this takes me to the Copper Knowledge Base. This is a resource of free information, exercises, and best practices around Copper. After the course, if you want to revisit a topic or dive deeper into a topic, you can search for it here. Now, let's take a minute for you to go through and set your preferences up.